class. Good evening. Today we'll be solving linear equations. Does anybody know what linear equations are? Yes. Does it have something to do with letters? It does. Linear equations are mathematic expressions that has the equal sign. Now we use letters, which are called variables, and these are the most common variables, x and y. We use this for the unknown number we're trying to find. Questions? So let's do an example. We have 2x plus 4 equals 10. Now, step one in following the equation is to identify our variables. So, x is our variable, and our leading coefficient is 2. Now, step two, we're trying to get x in front of the equal sign. In order to do that, we're going to get rid of the 4. Now, we're going to do the opposite of this operation, which is subtract. So, it's going to be 2x plus 4, 10. Like I said, we're going to subtract 4. Now remember, what you do to one side, you must do to the other. And then we're just going to bring down remains. Now we still have that 2 in front of the x, so we're just going to divide to get rid of it. And our final answer is 3. Any questions? Oh, um, do all linear equations have coefficients? In some cases, you want C, a coefficient. It would just be imagining one in front of the variable. So let's try an example for that one. We have x minus 7 equals 14. Now we're going to identify our variable. So our variable is x. Now, like I said, we don't have a leading coefficient here that's visible, but we know, we're going to know that it's a imagining one right here. Now you don't have to write imagining one. But you feel free, you can do that. But for now, we're just going to practice with the imaginary one. We're going to actually write it out. So, we're trying to get x in front of the equal sign. So, we're going to have to do the 7. So, we're going to do the opposite of the operation, which is addition. So, it's going to be like this. So, we're going to add 7 on both sides. Remember, you do it to one side, must do it to the other. And this is going to bring down our remains. So, x equals 21. Questions? Okay. So, I'm going to give you an assignment to do your ticket out the door. Okay, class. Remember, step one is identify your variables. Then I want you to remember you have to get ready to do one side, you must do it to the other side as well. And once you're done with your problem, you can just turn it in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Ms. Willis, is there an easier way we can memorize the steps to solving the problem? There are several ways you can remember how to solve linear equations. Me personally, sing a song. Do you guys know the song We Can't Stop by Miley Cyrus? Yes. yes. Okay, so I came up with this song, How to Remember How to Solve Linear Equations. And it goes like this I love math. I love math. Especially when you solve linear equations. Remember, all you do is solve for X. Say, I love math. I love math, especially when you solve linear equation. Remember what you do is solve for x. So, lolly dolly, we identify, then we get x all by doing one side. You must do the rest. Say, these are the steps. These are the steps. Say, I love math. I love math, especially when you solve linear equation. All you got to do is solve for X. Okay, class, I hope you guys can remember that song and help you solve your linear equations. Class is missed.